So velocity is arguably one of the most important things when it comes to editing a Fortnite or gaming montage and I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do that in both After Effects and DaVinci Resolve. But if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And with all that out the way, let's get right into it. Alright, so what I did is I opened a sample project of just a simple like highlights right here and all it is is it's a synced up clip or synced up two clips I guess you could say. It's like a sample two clip sequence if that makes sense to you guys. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to actually add velocity to it. So if you guys want to know how to do the syncing all that, I'm going to have an After Effects tutorial linked in the description as well as the DaVinci Resolve one if you guys want to actually check out how to do almost everything else other than Velocity. Um, so yeah, the main thing about Velocity is you really just want to kind of go for what the vibe of your thing is. And let's say you just want like a slowdown or some of them will do a slowdown before and after the kill. It just depends on what you're going for. Um, so for example, I'm going to start out basic. If you want something super, super simple, you just want to slow down. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pressing Control Shift D on our kill here. I'm gonna go up to the top clip press control alt T which will activate time remapping key from the beginning key from the end and obviously this is 100% speed right here if that makes sense all you got to do if you want it to actually be 50% speed is you need to drag it almost like double the distance it's that simple it's really that simple I'm not gonna lie to you we can see it's a lot slower. That's pretty much that. So 50% speed looks like that. If you want to add frame blending, just literally click this square twice. That one looks a bit messy. So that's just a brief example. You don't have to do it that way, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it my way. And I feel like that one looks definitely a lot better when you actually apply it to a clip. Uh, so what I always look for is I always look for the character like pulling out a shotgun. So what I'll do is I will cut the clip control shift D on where the character pulls out the shotgun. I'll press control T for the time remapping. And at the very beginning of this, I'll put a keyframe, the kill, I'll put a keyframe. And then lastly, at the very end, I'll put a keyframe. I'll select all these by holding with the left click, press F9 on my keyboard. Then I'll go into my graph editor right here. And we can see we have two different segments right here. We have this first part, we have the second part. And all we got to do is actually edit this graph to make it look as good as possible. So we're going to bring this one up, bring this one down, bring this one up, bring this one down, bring this over, drag it up a bit. We can probably fix that one. So pretty much the main premise is we want it to speed up into the slope and then kind of speed ramp into the kill itself and then eventually almost like flat line towards the end of the clip which is kind of like the slow-mo I like doing um, so something like this should be good that looks pretty good honestly and then if we were to add the frame blending my opinion that looks great I really like that um but yeah all we would do is we would just do that we'd add all of our effects above that and it's pretty pretty simple I'm not gonna lie um, and then from there we would just do the same thing we'd find where the shotgun gets pulled out press control T keyframe keyframe here keyframe at the end select all of them F9 go into the graph editor and then from there the same segment editing we're just gonna bring this one up almost like this like on an angle this one we bring like straight up almost then this one we go like this and pretty much that frame blending added and we're looking good so that's simple guys that's how you do it in after effects a uh, basic tutorial on that but with that being said i'm gonna move on over to da vinci so if you want to stick around for that make sure to stay tuned and uh yeah with all that out the way let's get right on over to da vinci resolve so inside of da vinci resolve now i'm just gonna go into new project and i'm gonna call it something like velocity tutorial something super simple and i'll go create Apparently, I already have one. Velocity Tutorial 2. And all I'm going to do here, just the basic project initialization. I'll go project settings, change it to like 60. This is super basic, but what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to drag in a basic, super, super simple song right here with a beat drop that we can use. Just like that. And I'm just going to do a single clip one here. I'm going to drag this down. And then I'm just going to find a super easy clip to edit with hopefully this one's honestly fine so I'll use this one I'm gonna add a marker to where we have the kill here so I'm gonna find shotgun pellets marker you know the drill we're just gonna line these two up right here if we actually find the beginning just like that extend this on the left cut it down on the right and we're gonna right click unlink it you can see super synced up all we got to do here uh for time remapping is we could either do this and we could either do read time controls we can add a speed point right here we can change this to 50 and then drag it down that's a super basic way and then if we want to do frame blending on davinci we just come here to optical flow at read time and scaling 
That's how to do basic slow-mo on this, but we don't really want that. We want the advanced stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click here. We're going to go to retime curve. Instead, we're going to get rid of retime controls. So we're going to come up here to retime frame. We're going to check retime speed just like this. We're going to add a keyframe on the kill here. We're going to one, two, three, and then we're going to go one, two, just like this. Add a keyframe there. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one down to 50% ish. Then this one's going to go up as high as we can really go, to be honest. And then we're just going to almost round these off just just by clicking this here. So this, this, this. That's pretty much that right there. Right after the kill also, sorry, I forgot to mention. 50% after the kill, just cause we want that slow-mo after the kill as well. And that is how I actually do my velocity. But yeah, obviously velocity is a lot easier to master in After Effects cause it just looks a lot better in general. But with that being said, if you guys wanna watch some more After Effects tutorials or DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I'll have some in the description as well as a playlist link for you guys to actually check that out. But if you guys did enjoy the video, you learned something, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.